President, just to be clear on this, uh, tonight you have mentioned my fellow countrymen and women. Yes. On many occasions. Yes. Your fellow countrymen and women, the Kenyan people, want to understand why the government has locked out the media in Shakahola. Question number two. Because the media has been locked out, your fellow countrymen and women want questions answered. Because you're the commandant chief and you get raw intelligence and briefings every morning here at State House. What exactly is the true picture of Shakahola? If it was meant for the media, you, you know, uh, Abdi, even if you went to Shakahola, would you go and film the graves and bodies that are disintegrated and take it to the people of Kenya? Would you do that as a responsible journalist? No. There are ethics that guide us. We yeah. can't do that. Yes. But why, why, so, why, why the blanket, there is, why the blanket there is, there is absolutely, media blackout? There is absolutely the scene that is there is not a scene to report. Yeah? The scene that is there is not a scene to report. And my friend, what would be there to hide about graves and dead people? If you had it. Tell us the true picture now. If, because if, you get uh, the intelligence, isn't it? Uh, I, could, I get the intelligence. So, and you label but, yourself as... But do you know why one? there is intelligence? Yes. There is intelligence because there is a limit as to how far you can go with intelligence. If intelligence was meant for the media, it wouldn't be intelligent. Okay, not the media per se. It's the Kenyan people who want are, answers. But you are the media. Hang, hang on, Mr. There is a way I am going to communicate to the okay. Kenyan people when the time comes. It's through us, the professionals in the media. That's why you have, here we are tonight. You speak to the Kenyan people about a raft of issues. Now, the Kenyan people want to understand the concerns that they have about Shakahola. Can't you tell them, the sovereign people of the Republic when, of Kenya, about the truth? When, when the time comes for me to speak about Shakahola, I will to the people of Kenya. When is that going to be? As it is, the people of Kenya will get information from the officers on the ground to the extent that that information can be shared. But it is not fair and it is not right, mm -hmm. Abdi, for you to tell me that I come and broadcast intelligence information. No, Mr. President, you, know, you know that's not possible, probably, uh, even if you try how. <laughs> Mr. President, I just want to ask you this. Uh, you receive intelligence briefs, yes. like uh, my colleague Ayub says. Um, we've seen people in this country <coughs> being profiled on the basis of their religion. I have to ask you this, Mr. President, and I'm sure Kenyans would want to know. You've admitted that there was some complacency from you know, security organs. Had this been done by another denomination, would we be